Mr. Speaker, and I, the Minister, I had the occasion to offer my sympathy directly yesterday at Fond du Sac on site. I asked the Honourable Minister whether it is correct or not incorrect, in fact, whether it is not incorrect, to describe the flooding at Fond du Sac as a flash flood. It's now a recurrent event, and I don't think it should be classified as a flash flood, but rather more serious than that. No, my, my answer to that question would be in the negative, Madam Speaker. The topography of Fond du Sac is such that any, any serious, any substantive rainfall is likely to have um, a result, a negative impact on the region for the, simple, for the simple reason that, as the word itself uh, explains, Fond du Sac. It is like, like a cuvette, and therefore, you don't need a flash flood for Fond du Sac to be affected. Any substantial amount of rainfall will actually have a negative impact on Fond du Sac. Although, although one must say that a flash flood is likely to have a quicker negative impact. Speaker, the Minister has just contradicted himself. Thank you. I just asked the Honourable Minister, Honourable Ganga, who had the unfortunate experience of being chased out of Fond du Sac, said that the cost of the works will be 300 million rupees. Now, remember at the time it was 49 million rupees. It's become six times more expensive. Can you confirm that the estimated cost is what Honourable Ganga has reported, has said on TV everywhere, 300 million rupees? And why the increase, this flash increase? Well, first of all, I would like to highlight that I don't see any contradiction in what I have said up to now. But coming down to the 49 million which, uh, to which the Honourable Leader of the Opposition is, is actually referring to, I, I must say that it is true that there is, um, there is actually um, a document which I have been provided um, concerning uh, construction of drains at Fond du Sac, where out of... Please, Honourable Leader of Opposition, please don't be impatient. Allow the Minister to reply, please. Madam Speaker, the figure, the figure of 49 million, the figure of 49 million is just being thrown like this before this house. We must know where it comes from. And it comes, I mean, I have been provided with a document, yes, of an amount of 49 million, where uh, for the construction of drains, 27 million is for just excavation. So it is obvious to me that such a, such a scope of works was certainly uh, Li very, to say the least, very limited. Now, let alone was, was this uh, scope of works. Uh, not, al not only did it originate from the, the, from the Ministry of uh, Public Infrastructure, the then Ministry of Public Infrastructure, National Development Unit, and Land Transport and Shipping, but after having come up with a scope of works of 49 million, uh, the, very scope, the very same scope of works was cancelled. So it certainly indicates, it certainly indicates that it was not the right figure. And, and to, to, finish on that, to finish on that note, I am not giving way. No, I am I'm not giving way. Madam, Madam Speaker, can I take a point of order? I am not giving way. Please. Uh, I understand that the Honourable Minister doesn't want to give way. But is that a point of order? Ma point you've of asked order. me repeatedly to keep my question short. My question here is, is the cost now escalated, has the cost escalated to 300 million rupees? And we are given 10 minutes of blah, blah, blah. You must be fair. I would like you to be fair and restrict them as me. What order, please? What I would ask is that both leader of the opposition be concise in his questions and that the minister also be concise in his reply, please. To actually, to actually, to actually, I won't say give the lie, because the word lie is unparliamentary, but to actually show to you that the blah, blah, blah is not on this side. Let me give you, Madam Speaker, the explanation for the 49 million rupees. 
Let me give you the explanation for the 49 million rupees, which is... Wait. You mentioned 49. Order. Order. Allow the minister to reply, please. Let me say, Madam Speaker, that following the torrential rains of February 2013, Lux Consult was appointed to survey and prepare designs and scope of work at Fond du Sap. And they proposed a drain project estimated then at 303 million rupees. Which was, which was then reviewed and split into two phases. The first phase would comprise construction of culvert over the length of more than 2,000 meters up to four back road. The second phase would then follow to cover another length of nearly 1,500 meters up on the motorway of Vail. Now, the works order was issued to Best Contract for the first phase for an amount of about 49 million. And the figure for now is not 300 million. I understand the figure for 300 million includes the acquisition of land. That is correct. Mr. Speaker, I'm not going to play politics when the lives of people are at risk. I wanted to know why 300 million. I wanted to know why 300 million. He has replied. Fair enough. He has replied. Now let's get on with it. Because people are listening in Fond du Sac. And also in Cottage, where there will be. Also in Cottage. Let me tell you, Madam Speaker. Shh. Order, please. And we are now on to the. There were 77 plus, the Prime Minister said, now it's gone to 96, so now it's 92. Okay, there was confusion. We have 92 plots of land. Notices have been sent. Can I ask, Honorable Minister, whether any of the owners have challenged uh, the legality in court, or whether now we are going to proceed with acquisition of land and start of work? May I first start, may I first start by insisting that government is not playing politics on what the disasters of people. However, however, I would like to, to tell the House that the answer to the question put by the leader, by the honourable leader of the position, is in the negative. Madam Speaker, I'd like to ask the Honourable Minister, Duke's consult had already done the work, blah, 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 six years ago. Government is nearly five years in office. Why? did it take until December 2018, until last month, for compulsory acquisition notices to be sent. And he is to know that everywhere in Fond du Sac, etc., people are saying that Metro Express went quickly and this one was not a priority of government. So can you tell us why it was not a priority of government since 2014 to end of 2018 and 2019, eh? four years for this to happen. Why was it not a priority of government? That is my question. Let me, let me first say... Let, let, let me first say... They are, they are so used to mediocrity please, that anything please. is better for them. May I, first ask, may I first start by stating that May I first start by stating that, as I said earlier, it is a priority of this government to deal with flooding, landslides, and disaster reduction and management. Now, it is for this reason, it is for this reason, of this government, yes, next mandate of this government. Let me once again remind everybody that remarks from a sitting position is not allowed. Now, when, when the Honourable Leader of the Opposition states that nothing has been done and that on this side of the House we insist that it, it is, has been and will be a priority of this government to deal with disaster management and disaster reduc risk reduction. From, from 2015, after the Honourable Leader of the Opposition had been in government for nearly nine years, we had, we had, this side of the house had to review the National Disaster Scheme so that the right protocols be triggered b before, during, and after such disasters. Secondly, this is why in 2016, 
They did nothing during nine years. This government passed the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act. They did nothing. This government passed the Land Drainage Authority Act, which actually oversees all the floodings, uh, coordinates all the works concerning the floodings. So that, that they have the audacity to come and say that we did nothing, we believe that this is really nonsense. Okay. To finish with, to finish with, Madam Speaker, let me, let me, let me go back, let me go back to the major processors involved in land acquisition. It is quite clear that it is tedious and lengthy. It is taking the time that it takes. I must also hasten to add that before they... Honorable Mohamed, yes. I just said that from the sitting position, you shouldn't make remarks. I must hasten to add, I must hasten to add that if one really cares to know the number of measures taken regarding Fonds du Sac, one will see that we have cared and that we do care. And finally, to end, Madam Speaker, there was, there was objection before. We have managed now to get away with all the objections to the acquisition of land. Speaker, I say it quite sincerely, mille fois bechou. I say it quite sincerely. What you have done, I say it quite sincerely. Very, very sincerely, in front of the cameras, I say. In Can we have some more than the house, please? I can't even hear what the leader of the opposition is saying. Please, honorable Jogru. Yes. Madam Speaker, cosmetic half-baked measures for five years. This is what the government has done. And Madam Speaker, I don't understand. Dramatic flooding in 2013. Okay, Mr. Bechu issue didn't issue. This government starts, let's say, January 2015. Why did it take two years to appoint Mega Design to do the design? Everyone knows, everyone knows what procurement procedures are. We all know that. Now, let me say in the meantime, let me say in the meantime, let me say, now he says, mil fois betu. Now he says, now, Come on. this is the last time that I'm drawing the attention of honorable members that remarks from a sitting position is not in order. And I say it, it is the last time. We've got only 10 minutes left for question time. So allow the minister to reply and tell the leader of opposition to ask his questions. He prefers, he prefers, a, he prefers a minister who goes on a dam which leaks. I've never heard that. Leaking dams, which, 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 whose cost increased by two billion. He prefers, he prefers motorways which before inauguration actually just collapse. That's what he likes. That is what we are now going for. They will do anything to get just a few more votes. I pity them. I pity them, frankly, if that is what they like. But let me say, let me say, Madam Speaker, that one should also be aware that we, the time it has taken for the consultancy, the emergency procedure, we, are now, we, have, we, have, we have now completed the process for the acquisition of the land to do the work. But I think one should also know the number of other measures taken in the meantime. One is not aware, for example, that... Time is running out. What yes. are we going to do? Are you going to give some extra time? This is not fair. This is yes. not fair. No, I, I can see Do that respect. time is running out and that we've got, I'll, I'll give eight minutes more, but be brief in your questions and be brief in your answers, please. He, he is making out the Honourable, Honourable Leader. Bagwan. Honourable Bagwan, I know you are losing time now. You are biting in the time of the Honourable Bagwan. Honourable Bagwan. You won't have time to ask your questions because you're biting in. You are biting in the time of now. Please, please, please. Now, let me say, Honorable Bagwan. 
I will have to take action. Order, please. Order, but you won't have time. Because Honorable Bagwan, last time, Honorable Bagwan. Honorable Bagwan, I'm addressing myself to you. And this is the last time I do so. Otherwise, I will have to take sentence. Yes. Speaker, i like to ask a question about compensation. Ask my question. The speaker asked me to ask my question. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I was asked to ask my question. Please don't make provocative remarks. I'm drawing your attention. Madam Speaker, I'd like to ask the Honorable Minister, compensation from the Prime Minister's Relief Fund has been paid, peanuts, peanuts, to the people of Fondusac. First question is, why the people of Cité Lacure, who have got the 182 rupees, have got not zero cent from the Prime Minister's Relief Fund? Why Cité Lacure has been discriminated? Here, I have to draw your attention that the question relates. Honorable Leader of Opposition, I will have to suspend the sitting if that continues. I'm sorry, Leader of Opposition, you have only four minutes left. Right? Don't bring in extraneous matters. The question relates to Fond du Sac. You can't talk about City Lacure. Yeah. No, he hasn't finished. No, nobody allows him to finish his reply. Madam Speaker, I would like to explain the process, through, just briefly, the process through which the process one uses in order to get compensation. Now, all victims, all victims of floods actually have to go through a process, and that process is very simple. My ministry carries out the surveys, and therefore, they then, trans they then transmit the surveys, the results thereof, to, and their recommendations to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund. Therefore, any citizen of this country will be treated on the same footing. And I just... It is a, it is an Honorable Perrault! Honorable Perrault, I will order you out. Your place will be outside and not inside if you continue to cause interruption in the house. Madam Speaker, I consider it, I must say it openly to the nation, I consider it to be extremely vicious and improper to try and come before this house and make allegations of this type because it is, it is simply a fallacy to come and make such allegations. I will invite... I will be nice to the Honourable Minister. Honourable Perrault, will you continue? Last, last, okay, last time. She will not do anything. Otherwise, your place will it's not last. be in the house. I have said your place will be out. I will invite the Honourable Minister tonight to come with me to Fond du Sac to meet the people there to see that the compensation is highly inadequate, given that they are not allowed to insure their house. No one will insure a house in Fond du Sac. They are counting only on the peanuts from the government. And I will also invite at the same time the Honourable Minister to accompany me to Cité Lacure, where we will see the horrible yes, discrimination yes. that is taking place in this country today. Honourable Leader of Opposition, Honourable Leader of Opposition, I give you two more minutes. That's all. Yes. Madam Speaker, I am prepared to go anywhere with the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. If ever. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> but, but, I believe that it is totally improper to try and make out that different treatments are being actually given to different people regarding this matter of flood. I be Madam, Speaker, Madam Speaker, I believe that this is this type of jargon, this type of comments, which are highly destructive of our nation building process. Why I say, mille fois bechou. Madam Speaker, I, wa I want to ask the Minister. Factual question. Beginning of the year, there have been flash floods, many places. Troubles, uh, Poudre d'eau, many places. 
how, as Minister of Environment, you have a very big ministry, you are a very busy man. How many places have you, factual question, eh? following floods, have you visited? Please give me the dates that you have visited. How many, how do you know? Do you follow my? Huh? I've gone to many. You want him to reply? Do you want him to reply? Then be silent. Yes. I have gone to many, and I believe that it is totally improper. It is. To How do you know? It is totally improper. They, do they do they do they sleep in my bed? Huh? I believe it is totally improper for those huh? for those nonsensical remarks. I have been too many. By the way, by the way, let me finish, Madam Speaker. Since the issue was fondue sac, let me finish on what has been done. They are talking a lot about fondue sac, cottages, and other regions. When they were in office, what did they do? Nothing, nothing. And I come back to the question. Tell them, shut your mouth. Come to la gueule. Quand me paye toi, Adibita. This word is not parliamentary. Right? Please, please withdraw this word. I withdraw it, madam. To finish with, since we are about fond du sac, let me, let, me let me finish, Madam Speaker. First of all, first of all, because the work was actually in the process, we have had to start. What do we do in the meantime? There is already a flood contingency plan for fond du sac. There is a community disaster response team which is over there to actually help. There are simulation exercises. Now, you start again, Honorable Bagwan. Honorable Bagwan, you can't say that. Madam, Madam Speaker, he just said I'm lying. He cannot say I'm lying. I insist he withdraws it. Time is over. <laughs>